In this video, we're going to update an existing Yocto build to add an additional package, program the updated build to a board, and test it. In the previous video, we generated a standard image and programmed it into the kit, and we have the consoles open for that image now. We can log into Linux with root. We have a test file in the home directory, so let's change there, and if we do an ls, we have our test.txt file from the last video. And we can open it in nano and see that we wrote in hello. So if we exit that now, what if we try using a different text editor like Joe? We type in Joe followed by test.txt. We get a command not found error. To solve this, we need to rebuild our image with the Joe package included in the build. And the first thing we need to do before we rebuild is check that the package is available. If we go to layers.openembedded.org, change into the recipes tab up at the top. Here, you can search for recipes matching the package that you would like to install. So if we search for Joe, we can see a recipe for the Joe package listed off here, which gives us some information about what needs to be installed to support this package as well. We can also find the sources or links to the homepage for the package to find out more about it and confirm that this is definitely the package that we're looking for. I can see this is the Joe text editor here. If we wanted, in Open Embedded, we can also search simply for text editors to find a list of all of the text editors or similar packages that are available as well. But for the sake of this video, let's only have a look at the Joe package for now. Now that we know we can install our package, let's return to the Yocto folder where we created our Yocto workspace. Go into Yocto Dev and then into the Meta Polar Fire SoC Yocto BSP folder. Then the Conf folder, then the Machine folder, and then open up the IcicleKit ES.conf file. In here, we can add in our additional package install. To do this, let's go down to line 36 and we can add a new line here. Let's add in all caps, core underscore image underscore extra underscore install space plus equals followed by a space and then inverted commas Joe, as this is the package we want to install. Now, let's save the file and we can return to the terminal where we originally ran our build for Yocto. We can push up to rerun the same command and let's run a build for the icicle kit of the MPFS dev CLI image once again. Now that the image is finished building, once again we need to transfer it over to the icicle kit. So let's reopen PuTTY to access our COM ports, and if we power cycle the board, we'll restart the HSS. And again, if we interrupt the boot now, we'll stop it from progressing. If we type in USB D MSC, we enter USB flash drive mode, where we can copy our image to the board. So now, if we return to the Octo build instructions, we need to once again run the zcat and dd command to program our kit. So let's copy and paste this into our terminal. And I know the device name for my board is SDA. So let's update that now and hit enter to program the kit once again. And the same as in the last video, we can see progress in the console and we can also see stats printed out in the HSS terminal. Now that the copy is completed, we can enter Ctrl C in the HSS to exit flash drive mode and then enter boot to boot up the image. And we can see the Linux kernel come up on MSS UART1. If you get any MUSB driver errors printed out on boot, 
As we said in the last video, you can unplug the micro USB cable from J16 to stop these from being printed out. Now that the image is booted, we can log in with root once again. And this time, when we change into the home directory and do an ls, we won't have our test.txt file, as this was overwritten when we reprogrammed the board. So let's type in joe, which is the text editor we've added, followed by test.txt. And this time, when we enter joe, we don't get a command not found, the joe text editor opens up for us, and we can edit our files.